see we're at the uh, mouth of the Mersey today at Seaforth. Going to be casting out about 60 yards into the deep channel. Fair few anglers on the beach today. Got Kev Brindle over there from Whittle Sea Fishing. Uh, Dale Edwards down the bottom end. Everyone's had a few dogfish so far. Uh, I've seen one thornback ray come out. No coddling yet. Bait's going to be using today. It's going to be using black lug and crab on this rig. Black lug and squid on the other rig. Just a loop rig, size 30 uh, Varavas BMXs. Uh, six ounce lead, just trying to get them out about 50 60 yards just, just to get onto the corner of the channel. Hopefully, pick some cod out. We've got a lot of dogfish, a lot of uh, white to fight through at this map. Just seeing one thorn back they come out, so uh, things are looking good. I'm going to be using are just there, <clears throat> some peter crab, squid, black lug, just doing a mix of all the baits, see if we can uh, get through these white and stop the dogfish from taking this squid at the moment because the dogfish are coming out every cast at the minute and they uh, try and get through to the codlin if we can. So that's kind of the baits I'm going to be using today, just peter crab, a bit of black lug, sort of a 3-0 hook, try and get the bigger fish, try and keep the white and off the hooks today. We'll see how we get on with that, and then I'll use some black lug and squid as well. And then I've got the black lug and squid on the other hook, same again, 3 0 Varavas uh, big mouth extra hook. Sharpened it up as well so it's nice and sharp. I'm not going to cast these far today, just got about 50 60 yards, just try and get to where the cod are and away from the white and then away from the dogfish if I can. Go with me Pen Fathom 12s today, 18 pound main line, my 515 mags as well, mag twos. There's my match measure from uh, Shore Huggers as well, that I didn't show you the other day because it was dark. Sun's just starting to go down, uh, we're about an hour away from low water now. The fishing's gone off a little bit, still a few thornbacks coming out. So our uh, Kev Brindle here with uh, another thorn back ray. It's at about three pound again, three and a half. Well that's uh, just what we were trying to avoid today. Dogfish every cast so far. We just won't stop coming. Nice slack line is often but they're not all at once. Another species out there, the Mersey Dab. Don't know if anyone's noticed recently in the Mersey. Uh, dab seems to be uh, um, almost non-existent. They're on the Liverpool side, but you go to the Whittle side, I haven't seen a dab in quite a while. Don't know if anyone else has noticed that.
thorn back right out there, so that's a good start. Two dogfish, thorn back right. I'll just show you the thorns on this one, he's absolutely uh, vicious. So you can see the, uh, why they call them thornback rays anyway, if you don't know, the thorns on this one are exceptional. They're so sharp, they'll give you a nasty bite, these. Really, really thorny. That's the first good sized fish out of the day. Anyway, got a good slack line, I thought we had a cod on there, but we'll get him back in there, get back out. There's plenty of dogfish, white in, thornback rays, all sorts coming out of here tonight. Thorn back right there, we'll get him back. Right, the tide's just started to turn now, just after low water. Yeah, the sun's just starting to set, we're going to get an hour on the flood at this mark. So Thornback Ray's dogfish waiting in a couple of dabs for Dompneys, what's come out of sea for today. No signs of any cod whatsoever. Uh, so it looks like it'll be going further down the river, but we've got another hour and a half yet. See what we can get out, see if we can get another Thornback out. Yeah, this is pretty much... This is pretty much all we're going to end up with tonight at sea for. It's been a really good session, but... Dogfish after dogfish, plenty of thornback days, some good fishing, get back down the river and uh, get, get on some codling. <laughs> 